So what we're going to be doing today is greasing the tires of your travel trailer. You're going to need your grease gun. You're going to need a paint stick or something to wipe the grease away. A can of your favorite vegetables. An empty can of your favorite vegetables. So you can put the old grease into something while you're going along. You'll need a tube of grease. In this case, I'm going to be using Babylon Automotive and Industrial General Multi-Purpose Grease. Yeah, this is a lithium EP grease. You also want plenty of paper towels to wipe away the grease as you're going along. So the grease gun I got in the mail actually has instructions of how to put it together so you don't screw it up. The first step we're going to be doing is unscrewing the grease gun head from the barrel. Let me take one. A lot of threads. The second step here is to inspect their rubber plunger while inside the barrel to see if it is in the cartridge loading position. So it says if it's in the correct position, the loading position here, you want to skip this third position. You don't have to take out the bottom spring. So the next step will be pulling out the plunger until the rod locking groove lines up with the rod retainer hole. Insert locking groove into the rod retainer hole by pulling the rod to the side into the locked open position. Pull this guy up and move this guy down. The locking position is just off to the side here so it holds this, um, the rod out of it. And that puts you in loading position so you can put the grease tube inside of it. Another thing you might want to do is just kind of inspect the inside of this to make sure there aren't any metal shavings or something like that. The first grease gun I got actually had a little bit of metal shavings inside of it so I had to clean it out. And You definitely don't want to have metal rubbing against your ball bearings inside your tire so <laughs> make sure you have that cleared out first. Step 5 it says we recommend the 14 ounce cartridge with a pull tab in. Remove the plastic cap from the grease cartridge. I'm just going to go to step six to insert the cartridge into the barrel with the open end first, push until fully inserted into the barrel. So the metal end will be sticking out this part of the grease gun. So you just take this cap off here. Try not to get grease all over yourself because it will be exposed. You put this cap in here with the metal end sticking out. You just kind of make sure that's in there nice and solid. Next step is to remove the pull tab from the grease cartridge and reinstall the head assembly. Just open up this can like you're opening up any other can. Then you'll want to screw the lid back on here, the top portion. You also want to make sure this rubber gasket doesn't fall out when you put this back on. Then you'll just unlock this rod plunger here and push it all the way back up into the barrel. And this particular grease gun came with a flexible um, nozzle and a, just a pure metal nozzle here. And I found out when I was doing my first three tires that the flexible nozzle is kind of a pain in the butt because it's just flopping around while you're trying to grease the ball bearings. So I'm, I'm going to use this metal one and see if it works any better. And now your grease gun is good to go. So let's go outside and start greasing that tire. So one of the first things you want to do out here is actually jack up the trailer up a bit. See down there, I just put a cement block down there that I'll be using this four ton capacity jack, hydraulic jack, to lift up the side of the RV. And it'll actually be, if you put it right in the center here, you'll lift up both sides or both of these tires here. That way if you want to just lift up the whole side and do both tires that'll be fine just just remember to put the um, blocks on the other side of the trailer so it doesn't try to roll off on you as you're freezing up the trailer because that'd be pretty bad then you just start jacking up All you got to do is jack until this thing gets freely here. 
and you are good to go. So the next step is you want to take off this cap here with the screwdriver. Be careful because this is plastic. So inside your tire here you have this little rubber gasket, a little protective cover that keeps the dust and dirt out of there. So you want to take that off next. So the next step you want to do is see what color grease you actually have and pump it out in a can or something. I don't know if you can see this on the camera but it's kind of a purple color. And if you have grease in there that's been in there for a while, it'll be more of a darker black color. So your next step is to actually get in a position where you don't fall off here. <laughs> You'll want to put the end of this on the zert inside the middle. It'll kind of make a clicking sound. You want to spin your tire and slowly insert the grease into the tire. As you go along here, grease, the old grease will slowly start to come out. That's where your paint stick comes in handy. Actually, I might stick with my screwdriver. It's kind of hard to get in here. Just kind of get that grease out of there and put it into your can and get it out of the way. So you just want to keep on doing this until you get all your old grease out. And you definitely do have to be patient with this because it will take you a while. There's a surprising amount of grease in these things. After you finally get the grease coming out the right color for the new grease, what you want to do to get the grease gun off of there is kind of tilt it at an angle then pull. Then try not to get grease all over yourself. Then you'll want to come through here and clean up all the grease sets on the edge of this rim. And Make sure it's all cleaned up for when you put the cap back on it. Next up is putting this little dust cap back on there. It's kind of hard to get it in there. I just kind of work at one angle, like at the top, and kind of push it all the way in around that, which obviously you can't see right now. It helps if you push in the middle of it a little bit. You want to put your plastic cap back on. Now you've greased the tire. Good job. And hopefully you didn't grease yourself too much. You can see though this thing is pretty full of grease. So this is how much grease you have to get out of this tire here. I think I might have gotten actually more than I needed to. But sometimes it's kind of hard to tell the difference between the dirty and the new grease. Yeah.